Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. I'm 42 today. Anyway, um, so in honor of uh, birthday and all that, decided I was going to try this one. Now this is a wine that we found at Costco, and I was, first of all, all the little like, I don't know, the little things on here. That was the first thing that caught my eye, but what else caught my eye was it was $7.99 at Costco. And it's the Anciano uh, Gran Reserva Tempranillo. It is from Spain. It's from a, an area called um, Valdepeñas. It's the, uh, that's the D-O. It's the Appalachian in Spain. Now this, this part of Spain is the south central part of Spain. And uh, it's in the uh, Cuidad Real province. To give you guys a little reference as to where it is. Rinsing out the last wine. So we're going to try it out. And um, the thing about this is a 1998. And what they do, and I'm not really sure if this is really going to be that big of a deal, but they, they let it age for 10 years. They sell it for 10 years. Um, and uh, then they release it. So... I was like, well, let's try a wine that's really old, and they're touting it, but it's only eight bucks, so let's see how good it really is. Oh, by the way, Jay Miller gave it a 90 from Wine Advocate. Found that out. Okay, so right off, I'm getting the dark fruits. Um... And a little burn on the nose, but it's only, you know, it's alcohol, so, you know, I'm going to get that. It's only 13%. Maybe a little leather out of it. Maybe some tobacco. Yeah. pretty good I like it I do like I like this one a lot um, it's not really heavy it's a uh, I would say kind of a medium bodied wine that the tannins aren't really killing you um, you know it's, it's spent 10 years in the bottle well at this point 11 years probably um, so it's had time for the tannins to soften a bit I mean this is not a first growth Bordeaux that needs 20 years to really soften but you know the the tannins aren't really present. Um, it's medium bodied. And you get a bit of that, I'm getting kind of that, that earthiness from, from the palate. Um, it's really easy drinking. I do like this. I don't know if I'd go 90 on it. Um, it's pretty good, though. Bet you Costco doesn't have any more. We bought this about, feels like it bought like a month ago. And uh, I know that people were raving about it already. So I'd probably go 89 on it. I think it's really good. Uh, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, for me, make it to that 90 point level, um, that, that extra bit of wow factor. But uh, it's an $8 bottle of wine. It's, it's uh, easy drinking. It's good tannins, uh, not good tannins, uh, good, good flavor, good structure. It's pretty good. I'll go with that. A um, couple things about the wine uh, is the, to find out more about it, you can go to the Well Oiled Wine Company. They're the importer because um, there really isn't a, uh, a, a website for the bodega that puts it out. It's the bodega Navalon. And, um, yeah. I, I totally would recommend it, getting it. Uh, as always, click the links. Um, did a little workout today. Still sweating from it. Um, click the links and uh, friend me up. 
you know, we've got expanded distribution of the video. Um, and if you haven't uh, looked at Friday's video, last Friday, uh, where I had Passaggio Wine, had Cindy uh, Costco, not Costco, but Costco, um, from Passaggio Wines. Check that out. Hope to have some more of those in the future. And if you're a winemaker, winery, and you would like to do one of these Skype interviews, please contact me. Um, believe the audio problems have been solved. I'm about to, I'm waiting for something to come in to get shipped to check that out, to test it. So I believe I've got that worked out. And uh, let me know because I'd love to do more of these virtual wine tastings. Uh, they're very popular. And, uh, or the last one was very popular. And uh, that's really it. We'll see everybody again tomorrow.